what does Michigan need out of the quarterbacks in spring camp to not actively seek a quarterback one in the portal? I imagine that that there will not be a starter named by the end of spring, but presumably they are looking for some sort of benchmark to be cleared by the guys in the room. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to have a starter at the end of spring ball. Anyone who thinks that you're going to walk out of this camp, with, you know, with a pla- a flag firmly planted in, you know, the Alex Orgy camp or the Davis Warren camp, and it sounds like those guys, based on what you know, our own Chris Ballas is saying, it sounds like those two guys have been the best, quote unquote, so far. Uh, again, we don't get to see practices, so we don't know what that entails. But um, it's clear through two weeks that no one has kind of run away with this thing. I mean, everyone kind of has a trait or something they like about them. Um, Even Jaden Denegal, I think he throws a good ball, but there's some mechanical things there. You know, what's the upside? Um, You know, I think for them, what this all comes down to, and I think spring ball playing out to its natural conclusion is that I, well, I won't speculate on names because I I can't say for sure, but you're not going to have, you know, all five of these guys, you know, Orgy, uh, Denegal, Davis Warren, Jack Tuttle, who's been banged up and not really playing, and Jaden Davis, who you can almost, to me, just kind of put an asterisk next to him competing for this job because I do think that he's a year or so away, and it seems like Michigan thinks that too. So really, if it's a four per, like you're just not going into fall camp with four guys vying for the job. And I don't think that all four guys would be down for that. I think you might very well see a transfer out if that, was to occur. So, you know, I guess to come back to, to our Seagull Blues question, I mean, you know, what do you need to see out of those guys? And it, it has to be, listen, you don't need to be JJ McCarthy, but I think to run this off offense and run it at a championship caliber level, you probably have to execute it as well as Cade McNamara did a couple of years ago. And I don't know that they have that guy on the roster right now. Um, you know, there's still, as we sit here record on, April 1st, there's still 19 days to go until the spring game. Something could change. I mean, even think back to when Caden JJ uh, battled it out for that job. Um, JJ really didn't come on until what the last week to 10 days of practice, whatever it were or whatever it was that made them push that battle out. So something could change quickly, but in the here and now, I mean, you want to hear someone is grabbing the job by the horns and running away with it. And we we're not hearing that so far. Yeah, and I, I don't think that there's one benchmark that needs to be cleared because it's kind of a moving target. For mm-hmm. one, you know, you want to compare it to a couple of years ago. JJ was hurt during spring practice. You know, Jack Tuttle's hurt right now. So it's not like an even playing field in terms of all guys being available in the spring. So, you know, what benchmark is Jack Tuttle really able to clear right now? He's trying to get healthy. So that's one element. The second is, you don't know exactly what the options are going to be in the transfer portal. I'm sure they're doing their homework and are going to, you know, especially come April 15th when the transfer portal opens. But, you know, it, it's a moving target in that you don't know who's going to come available. You don't know who's going to have interest in you. So, again, you're just going to look for the best quarterback that you can have, uh, you know, behind center starting games. And whether that's a guy on the roster or a guy in the transfer portal, it remains to be seen because we don't know what all the options are. So I know it's kind of a boring answer uh, to the question, but I just don't think that there's, you know, it's just something you have to constantly evaluate because it is a moving target. Yeah, it's a moving target, uh, you know, but I think it's pretty clear over the last three years, like there's been a, there's been a, I think a pretty clear expectation set of, you know, the criteria that they use in terms of being able to, and this is, a wide ranging blanket statement or a criteria, but you know, the ability to extend plays with your legs, your ability to make every throw in the playbook, because I don't think they're going to dumb down the playbook for any of these guys. Um, You know, you adapt to your personnel, but that's, that's a little bit different. And then the ability to lead scoring drives. Um, You know, I think those are all things. I assume um, that those are all things that are being charted. And again, I think if, if they were, you know, I said this, at, you know, as they kind of open spring camp and even sort of when we previewed it going into it is that if there's an opportunity to be had for someone to enter this quarterback room and win this job, I think you would kind of start to see word get put out there that that would be the case. And um, well, I wouldn't say that the smoke is billowing out of 
Schimbeckler Hall, you know, hoping for someone to come save the Michigan offense at quarterback, right? But it's, uh, you know, through two weeks, it's not, it's just not where maybe it needs to be. I don't know. It's weird to say, but it's going to be fascinating. I mean, that is by far their their biggest storyline heading into the rest of this offseason, rest of spring ball, 